Hello there, everybody. I'm Wade What, and I'm continuing right where we left off on dysfunctional systems. <clears throat> the nuke was just launched, or the president was murdered by Cyrus. The nuke was launched, and boom. <clears throat> the whole congregation looks to be looks to the horizon where there is a glowing light. Anger subsides into shock, which subsides into disbelief and then acceptance. What comes with acceptance is a sadness to sudden, so sudden, thick, and powerful that tears fall from my eyes before I even realize they're coming. <clears throat> Millions of people are now gone, in a moment, just gone, burnt up. I am to blame. I failed, absolutely and 100%. I allowed this ruination. Sir, you... I just can't believe you. I just can't accept this. Why did you kill them? An immense wave of sound and energy pounds through us, and I nearly topple over, held still only by tugging at Cyrus' shirt. <clears throat> Shit. Shit? Shit? Well, shit, Cyrus, really? That's all you got to say after all this? Shit, of all things? Let me tell you what you should be saying right now, you murderer. You, you, f fucked everything. Settle down, we don't have time for that. <laughs> he nods into the light. That right there is a classic sign of a true fusion bomb. And that shockwave just now tells us it's too strong for its own good. Brian couldn't test a nuclear weapon under Gavra's surveillance, and it shows right there. They used too much reactant, and it's become self-sustaining. What? What in the world does that mean? It means this whole world is dead. That reaction is going to continue until it's consumed the entire atmosphere and left this planet a barren rock. Holy shit. <coughs> that is quite the turn of events. And this game has had a lot of those turn of events. The whole world? Wh what? He turns for me. We need an out. Prior prioritize the student. The situation is hopeless. Wait. No, wait. Hold on a second. This is impossible. What is he saying? It's gotten even worse? Ridiculous. It can't be. No, 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 no. How would this even... Don't tell me after all that's happened. This is how it ends? Don't tell me that. <clears throat> the light was actually bright enough to dry my eyes. For a second, I'm pretty sure I've died. So sure, in fact, that my concerns for Brighton's world are briefly overtaken by personal ones. But then I realized, if I were dead, I couldn't think. <coughs> I looked to my right to see Cyrus there, confirming the theory. We've returned home with one less world to worry about. High radiation levels detected. Please remain calm and wait for emergency medical personnel to assist you. High radiation levels? It's talking about us. Sir, what's going on? The events of the past four hours have totally beat me over the head, and I'm still reeling from the blows. Right now, I don't know if I should despair over the losses or fear something else. Really, I'm finding it difficult to think I've not just woken up from some over-imaginative nightmare. We are now playing the menu theme, says Cyrus. No. We picked up some radiation from the blast, it seems. Ah, <clears throat> uh, we'll be fine though, right? Yeah. A disconcerting pause. After a few moments, the entrance to the room opens with a loud clunk, and some people in hazard suits enter, pushing a trolley along with them. Sir? It's just a precaution. Relax. Relax? I need you both to lie on your backs for us. Cyrus calmly does so, but I do not. I'm going to be okay, right? You will be, if you lie on your back. And if I don't, I feel fine. Well, you should. It takes a while for the symptoms of radiation sickness to set in. Mercy, I'm nervous. Everything was confusing before, but I can easily process a threat to my own life. How long? Well, it depends. The longer, the better. Now, could you please... 
And what happens if they come on fast? Should I be worried? Hey, if you just... Oh crap, I'm, I'm freaking out. During said freak out, I noticed that she is motioning for another person in the suit to come over. We're going to give you something to calm down. Hold it, I don't want to be calm. This is the perfectly appropriate way to react. If you let us work on you, you won't have any reason to freak out. We'll make sure you get over this. Now lie down so we can. <clears throat> I do so grudgingly, still absolutely worried about everything. Their paramedic leans over me and, from what I can tell, prepares to insert an IV. It, en it enters with little pain, only a prick, but it's enough to make my eyes water. After they start, they don't stop. I cover my face with my free arm. I'm, I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, you're not. Look, are you positive you don't want to take something to calm down? It's difficult to talk while I'm choked, sobbing every half second. I I'm sure. I'm just so scared. I, I, I hate this. Alright, I'm going to explain what we're doing a bit. We're giving you a drug that will quickly clear out the radiation in your body and prevent the delayed effects from poisoning. I should say, even though it does that, you're still going to feel the early symptoms of radiation sickness. But that's it. It'll only be sickness, and you won't die from it. You're just going to feel really, really gross. We can put you to sleep until the symptoms pass, if you'd like. No. Whatever, whatever's coming, I deserve it. I, I don't care if I suffer. Just please don't let me. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. It's our job to keep that from happening, and we're pretty good at it. If you need any further reassurance, hey, you're not throwing up, right? No spontaneous bowel movements either. At least not yet. And do what? Oh, man. Just remember that it's going to suck. But you're going to live. Your body lost a lot of cells in that blast, and it's going to be bad until they've regenerated. I w want to go to my room. Sorry, but you'll have to stay here until your radioactivity has lowered to an acceptable level. I'll take you to your room once that's over with. So I lie on the floor, quietly sobbing to myself as I'm medicated through gravity. I'm terrified, and I feel terrible. And I only feel more terrible that I'm not feeling quite terrible enough. I'm the worst. Beating yourself up, but I understand. Can't blame you on this situation. <clears throat> I mean, what are these tears even for? I'm not going to die. Someone already died. The whole planet of someone's. Don't they deserve my tears? Ah! No! Screw it, we're saving. Resume. I guess now that I'm home, it's just so easy to distance, to distance myself from it. Almost like it never happened at all. I know that's not true, but, well, it's all Cyrus's fault anyway. Even if I fought him tooth and nail, he's my superior, and doing this would be... Ah! That's what I'm wondering. If it's like one of those games where the choices I make, they really don't have an effect. The bomb still would have gone off, stuff still would have gone down. Yeah, we'll see, won't we, eventually. I don't even want to imagine his face. I make a sincere effort not to look in his direction, even with him lying right beside me. I gaze instead at the black ceiling, trying my best to feel as empty and nondescript as it is. Alright, that should do it. The words break me from a self-induced trance. The person in the hazmat suit has since removed it, and when I turn, I'm glad to find a bare hand and smiling face offered to me. Let's be off to your room, then. Okay. Thank you. She helps me to my feet, which I find are currently very unsupportive. I feel significantly weaker than average, which is saying a lot since I am constantly aware of my natural physical weakness. I sway slightly, but I don't know if that is due to the radiation or just my nervous nerves being completely shot. As the paramedic leads me from the room, I don't bother checking back to see if Cyrus is still there. <clears throat> when we arrive, my roommate is standing against her bed, reading. She casually looks in our direction, but withdraws at the sight of me. Winter? Holy sh- uh, what- what happened? Not right now. How are you- um, do you need any help? Ma'am? Is she alright? 
She'll be all right, but I think about now she needs to puke. Ugh, the lady is right. On the long way over to here, I started feeling right nauseous. I start leaning forward to indicate that I want to go to the bathroom. The medic notices and lets me go. I stumble forward and take off in a sprint to the toilet. When I reach there, I immediately toss up the seat and start vomiting into the thing. It's awful. From the outside, from outside the bathroom, I can hear the paramedic's voice. Do you want me to stay with you? I open my mouth to answer, but quickly close it. That is, as it is, bleh, as it is not words that are about to come out. Sweet saliva washes over my tongue, and I grimace spitting it out in a hurry. That feeling of rolling hurl continues, and I keep trying to expel the nauseating water. On a fourth or fifth, or whatever, I'm not counting, attempt that comes out, more like sticking drool, a wave of vomit arises. Passes through me violently, and tears form in my eyelashes, breathing into the puke-filled toilet. I somehow managed to answer her rather than blowing chunks again. I'll be fine. Yeah. Panting over the rim, I listen to the other room. You're her roommate? Uh, yeah. Do you have anywhere to go right now? Or in the next few hours, for that matter? N no No? Great. Stay with her, please. She'll probably be in there for a while. But just make sure to call if it, it seems any worse than it should be. Like how? How much worse could it get? Well... Actually, it shouldn't get any worse than it is. I just want you to phone us with your Hall's emergency line if she's suffering too much and needs a sedative. 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 All right. What is it, anyway? Is it just a stomach virus, or is this about her assignment today? The latter. She got radiation poisoning from an out-of-control fusion reaction. We've lost the system. The air was completely burned away. Waverly doesn't respond to this, and the silence is long. As if to fill it, I throw up again. Don't worry, it's only sickness. She's not radioactive anymore. Now, I need you to listen. This is important. Make sure she doesn't eat anything tonight, okay? She should fast a bit, for now. Tomorrow morning, though, get her to eat and to drink lots of liquids. As awful as she feels, I need you to make sure she does. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I can. <clears throat> Excellent. Hey, are you sure you don't need anything? Hearing this, I don't even consider it. Though I'm practically in pain with all this gastrointestinal warfare right now. Or gastrointestinal warfare. Right now, I think I seriously deserve to suffer. I need some kind of punishment. I don't want to feel okay after what happened. No, I don't want anything. I close my eyes. I think I'm going to need to start sitting on this soon. All right. Your debriefing has been pushed back until tomorrow afternoon in consideration of your state. You should also try to visit one of the counselors tomorrow or on the first of the week if you aren't filling up to it. Don't let this eat you up inside. All right? Okay. Good. I'll be going now. Be sure to have your roommate call us if you need anything. I can't see the par paramedic leave, but I hear the door close. Oh, no. I let loose into the toilet again. Oh, gross. I flush and then roll over onto the floor. Whoa, shit. Seriously, already? I mean, hey, you alright? Oh, right, I guess that might have looked like I passed out. Although, with how I feel right now, that could happen. Yeah. Oh, nope. I kicked the door shut, forcefully. Something's coming from somewhere else. Grabbing my abdomen as hard as I can through my sweater, I lower my pants, get onto the seat. This is torment, seriously. I don't know how long it's been, but all that's needed to pass seems to have passed now. I've since taken a shower and brushed my teeth for good measure. I crawl out of the bathroom and flop onto the linoleum. Hey. I look at Waverly with what little strength I have. She looks upside down from here. You look green. Hey, I'm going to help you up. You shouldn't be in the bathroom all day. 
It's bad being in there. I showered. Yeah, I know. She bends down and takes me by the arm, lifting me with relative ease. But seriously, he... Yeah, I understand. I think I'm done anyway. Can you bring me to my bed? Well, I didn't pick you up to bring you to mine. Come on, I don't want to drag you. It doesn't matter what she wants. I lack the strength to move. She dragged me regardless. When we reach my bedside, she tosses me into my mattress. With her hands at the edge, she tips her head and looks at me. Yes? Can you talk much? I think if I talk any more than what I'm doing now, I'll spew. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> she looks at me like she wants to say something, but doesn't. She pushes from my bed and moves to hers. I hear a creak as she climbs into it. Hey. Yeah? Did you actually almost die? I did. The assuredness with which I speak my words somehow shakes me. I feel fear again for a moment, but it quickly passes. I'm alive and safe. It's okay. Waverly doesn't say anything, and I can't turn to see her. I didn't die, though, and my mentor didn't either. Guff, my eyes hurt, my head hurts. Waverly, can you turn off your lamp? I'm sorry. After saying this, I fall silent. I hear soft footsteps, and in seconds it's dark. It's almost a comfort, this void, but nothing right now could make me feel better. I apologize to Waverly again. She still says nothing, but I can tell that she has an answer. I don't know what the answer is, but it seems hard to say. That's fine, though. My eyelids are heavy, and my skull is throbbing. I feel like I'm going to drown and sleep soon. That sleep you get from medication. Thick and unnatural sleep. I don't, though. I just feel weighed and queasy. I stare at nothing and listen to the setting of the dorms. I can hear people walking through the stone walls. Halls, although it's late. Wind is swirling about the mountains. There's music coming from elsewhere. Light and haunting. Slipping away from my consciousness, I begin to close my eyes. <coughs> we never paid for our drinks. Nice thing to remember, but hey. You're forever thieves now. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Damn it, now I have to wait for episode two. <laughs> Maybe. This is so bleeding awkward. Or was that like all everything that just happened? Was that like all the prologue and now this is the actual game? That would be friggin' sweet. Oh, wait, so now we've switched over to her perspective? Eh. Well, I should probably end the episode there, so... Yeah. That happened. A bunch of stuff happened. A world exploded and blew up and all hell broke loose. And yeah, that was cool. Game's pretty awesome. 
Um, wait, what? And I hope you're enjoying it too. Goodbye.